What's up, baseball players? In today's video, let's talk about pitching strategy and an overarching strategy that you can use when attacking different hitters. And what we're going to talk about, I'm going to use a couple of stories to kind of illustrate this point, is picking a fight that you can finish. Okay, so if you're new here, I'm Coach Dan Blewett. I do tons of videos on pitching mindset, strength training, arm care, all that stuff. You'll find links to my books, my courses, more resources and videos in the link in the description. So be sure to subscribe and again, check out the description links below. So in today's video, let's talk about who you are as a pitcher and why you wanna pick fights with hitters that you can finish. So let me start with a story from my baseball career. So I had a, my, my rookie year, an independent ball. I had a teammate named Jason. He was from, he was like Texas through and through. And so when we would go out, uh, you know, like after a game, go to the bars, he would wear his like 10 gallon Texas uh, cowboy hat. He'd wear his cowboy boots. He'd wear his like cowboy jeans and his like big Texas, uh, you know, belt buckle, um, you know, putting it all together. He was conspicuous. You, everyone noticed him. Like, who is this cowboy in the middle of like small town Illinois, right? And he was a good guy, and he was also a tough guy. Like, I would not have wanted wanted to get in a fight with Jason. So I remember one night, because our our town uh, had a couple colleges in it. Kids were back from school, and there were a bunch of like kind of frat kids, like frat college kids, across the street, and they saw Jason, and they're like yelling stuff at him you know hey hey country boy hey cowboy picking a fight that they had zero chance of finishing now i was uh, jason's road roommate i knew that he carried a knife with him he also told me a number of stories which i think were probably true that he knew how to use that knife again i spent a lot of time with him he was a pitcher like i was so we we're in the bullpen together we we're you know in the dugout together i knew that those little frat boys if they wanted to get in a fight with Jason, my, my, my road roommate, even like three of them, were not going to be able to finish that fight. He was going to win any kind of fight like that. So in that case, those cocky little frat kids were much better off keeping their mouth shut. And if they want to go, you know, be rowdy and pick a fight with someone, do it with someone that maybe you can win that fight. So as a pitcher, we all have our unique skill sets, right? I was a like sort of high spin rate pitcher. I threw kind of hard. I could win up in the zone. I could bounce a curveball, but I had my weaknesses too. And one of the big things you learn as a pitcher is where you can win and where you consistently lose. So for me, I learned over time that I lost pitching down the zone. I lost pitching away. If I went away from hitters, even though that might be great for some other pitcher, or, you know, if you look up to Greg Maddox, which he was one of my childhood idols, Greg Maddox made his living. So did Tom Glavin, you know, pitching away, hitting the outside corner, you know, and missing off the corner. That wasn't me. If that's the fight that I pick, I lose that fight. Cause when I miss, uh, for the corner, I miss over the plate a little bit. I miss down and my fastball that had a lot of good spin to it basically like ran into barrels. So as a pitcher, you need to ask yourself, who am I, number one? And number two, what do my skills lend me to be good at? What kind of fights, if we consider the, the challenge between you and a hitter, a fight, what fights can I win? Can, can I afford to throw 2-0 changeups? Do I win that fight? For me, if I was going to pitch backwards and throw 3-1 curveballs, 2-0 changeups, I wasn't good enough locating those pitches in those counts where that's a fight that I lose. If I go first pitch changeup or first pitch curveball, I typically found myself 1-0. And now when I fall behind, I get hit, I get hurt. And a lot of pitches are the same way. You know, say you throw four pitches, which I think is too many, but say you throw four and your slider is your worst of the four. You throw a fastball, a pretty good curveball, a pretty good changeup and a pretty mediocre slider. Do you want to throw that slider 3-2 to a hitter? I don't know. Is that a fight that you can win? Again, it all comes back to understanding what you do well, which I have a lot of different videos where we talk about, you know, your strategy, you know, the different counts, all that stuff. And I'm going to continue to put out more of them. But if you're a slower throwing pitcher say, or say you sink the ball really well, you need to stay at the bottom of the zone. If you're a really hard thrower, you have a high spin rate like I did, you can succeed up in the zone and you get hurt down the zone. So I didn't pick fights 
down in the zone. If you're a sinker baller, you can't pick fights up in the zone. That's where your, your sinker flattens out and you get hurt. So again, just like those annoying, immature, insecure frat boys were trying to pick a, fr- a fight with my friend who was tough. I mean, through and through, he was a tough dude. Um, that was a fight they were picking that they had zero chance of winning. And as a pitcher, even as a major leaguer, you know, guys know I get hurt when I go inside or I get hurt when I go away or I get hurt when I nibble too much or I get hurt when I try to get too fastball happy and I try to throw the I try to throw fuzz by every hitter. You know, when pitchers, they become the worst version of themselves when they try to do stuff that they can't really do. Right. Even guys like Max Scherzer, Clayton Kershaw, they know where their limits are. They know I can't throw a slider in this situation because I just I'm going to lose more often than I win. I can't throw a 3-1 changeup because that's just like not my pitch for that count. I can't, you know, screw around trying to throw too much off speed stuff early in the count. I need to just get ahead of the fat with a fastball and be aggressive. That's how I win these fights with hitters. So hopefully this metaphor and this little story helps you conceptualize what you're good at. I mean, and, and my last thing here is unfortunately criminals do this really well imagine vin diesel is walking down the sidewalk and there's a criminal who's looking to pick someone's pocket is he going to pick vin diesel's pocket or is he going to pick some old guy's pocket right is he going to steal uh gina carano right that movie star and mma fighter is he going to steal her purse or is he going to steal the purse of some feeble looking woman who walks by criminals are smart they pick fights that they can win they want easy targets right and as a pitcher you want to have easy targets as well. You don't get any brownie points. You don't get any points for, you know, throwing your slider in a situation that's pretty risky. That's just dumb. You get you get points for doing what you're good at at the time that it's good for you. Pick the fights that you can win as a pitcher. All right. This is old wisdom that I learned the hard way that all of us pitchers will learn the hard way. So hopefully it helps you in your game here. All right. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm Coach Dan Blewett. Be sure to subscribe, share this with a friend, check out the links in the description, and I'll see you here in my next video.